people are really receptive to the Lariva campaign, and it's sort of a breath, a breath of fresh air to uh, to hear an issue from a from a politician about something that really speaks to you. Gloria Lariva is for the people. She's on the front line of the uprising that we've got going on in our country. She was down in Louisiana uh, providing material support for folks who uh, were affected with, in Lake Charles with the hurricane. In our state of New Jersey, the unemployment rate as of August was 10.9%, with 1.4 million filings since the pandemic began. In the midst of all this, our elected officials see it fit to implement budget cuts. Governor Phil Murphy's revised budget proposal for fiscal year 2021 includes $1.25 billion in spending cuts, which includes cuts to Medicaid and school-based mental health services. What, what has changed since, you know, since Obama get in, got in? What has changed? You know, we still have these million, the trillion dollar wars. Nothing has changed. Has our healthcare system changed? No. Has housing changed? Has our education changed? No, and you see all of these things become, get gutted year after year. These corporations make record profits during pandemics, during economic crises. They always flourish, and we're always left out to dry. People here work hard. They, 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 they grind, they struggle. I got two jobs. I work overtime almost every uh, every week. I'm doing 20, 30 hours of overtime just to survive. So capitalism is is is, is disgusting. It's wrong. It, it, it creates a survival of the fittest mentality. I want to really congratulate everybody in New Jersey who spent weeks to get us on the ballot in order for the people to have a real alternative in these elections. But it also shows how many people were open to seeing an alternative and did not buy the idea that you can only vote for one extremely rich candidate versus another extremely rich candidate who are both for a system that makes the rich ultra-rich while the people are suffering day by day.